Hi guys, welcome to this video. So in our previous video, we have created around 17 parts that you can see here. Up to this, let like we have completed in our previous video. So in this video, we are going to create another few more parts to complete this jet engine assembly. Okay. So in our previous video, we have completed our petrol intake bracket. So like I said before, this is the complicated part in this entire assembly okay and you may have some other more complicated parts but this is one of the complicated part ever in this jet engine okay so then we can go for the next part so for the next part we are going to create like a petrol turbine bracket okay so and go for this yeah petrol turbine bracket yeah we are going to create this part so I'm going to so this is kind of a reference kind of part so we need to create this part inside this assembly so i'm going to rename it as petrol petrol turbine b or a bracket okay good good so let's go for the create features let's create offset plane for this new part okay so let's go for the sketch and then let's go for the sketch view okay so now we are going to create this part okay so we, this is kind of a bracket part for like you can see this petrol turbine like you can see for these petrol turbines we are going to cover or we are going to create the bracket for this okay so for like if you are going to create this part separately it will be very very hard for you while we are creating the part in the assembly it will be very easy because we will take reference on the previous part right so it will be very very easy for you so then let's take a reference on this course and then what else do we need to take as a reference yeah it's okay for me solve and close okay so let's see the diagram and this is going to be our first sketch on this okay so then i need to create an arc like this so this arc as a radius value of let's see whether they are mentioned any radius value for this yeah good like 272.5 Six five on the outer as two seven pi five point one four. Okay, so first, first let's select, let's create this arc. Okay, then what's the purpose of creating this reference? So we have created this reference for viewing the central point for the for the circle which we are going to create. Okay, so I'm just going to create center and its ends, and I'm going to use this old reference, and then like i'm going to draw from this edge till this edge okay so let's change this radius value as 275.14 okay 275.14 okay good okay yeah so yeah i think uh, I need to create this by using constructive mode because we don't want to use this. Let's delete the old circle. Okay, to some point for one four. Okay, I'm good with this. Okay, so I'm going to take a reference on this face, this face, and this, this, and this, and this. Okay, solve it. Okay, so now I'm going to create a vertical constructive line for this. So I'm going to draw a line like this and like this. Okay, don't make any constraint because we don't want to make any constraint with this. This is going to be our reference line. So if you make any constraint, so it will be very difficult to create some more points. Okay okay good so now let's go for the diagram and let's see the distance for this um yep okay 
Good. Okay. So here, like, we need to create a feature for this. Okay. So we need to see this dimensions like 34, 24, and then again 36, 24, and then 36. Okay. So 1.15. Yeah. Okay. Good. So now I'm going to adjust this from here till here. I need a distance of 1.75. Good. So on the other same, like here, 1.75. Okay. Then the same as here. But here I need a value of 2. Here I need a value of 2. And then for the same here also as a distance of 2. Okay. Okay, two good. So now let's create another arc like with the same point which we have created using like this. Okay, so yeah, let's go for the arc and let's see whether the diameter radius it has been provided for the arc. Okay, okay, good. So then, at first, I'm going to create an arc like this, center and its ends, like this. From here till here, okay. So then, one more arc like this from here till here, okay. So now we need to provide a distance for this, like you can see here. So this will be 125.88, okay. So let's go for the dimensions. From here till here, it will be 125.88, right, okay, good. And then from here till here, it is like uh, 120.88, okay, 120.88 good like we have created two more features for this with the same center point okay then what else we can do in here like okay so then we need to create this arc and this Feature here. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a line on this reference straight to this, and then on this constructive line to this, this. Okay, it is not placed. Okay, that's good. From here till here, okay, this is not place right. Okay, and then from here till here. Okay. Okay. So now let's delete the unwanted segments like these two. And then this lines, this, this, and this, this, and this two. Okay, so now we have created a profile for this bottom S3, you can see here. Okay, so now we need to create like one more constructive R for this. So this is okay for me, but we need to create another arc. So let's go for the center and ends and uh, the same center point like yeah from here till here okay so for this we have entered a value of 270.80 where it is okay 
Okay, okay, let me just adjust that, okay? So don't, that's no problem for that. So this height will be like 174.12, okay? So good, so let's go for the dimensions. Select the new arc from here till here. Like this will be 174.12, okay, good. Now let's check whether this dimension of the radius 270.16. Okay, it's got a little bit change here. Okay, anyway, like we are going to create an inner surface for this, so we don't want to worry about that. We just want to keep this like this uh, high value for that. Okay, so let's check for this. Okay, so then we can go here. This outer edge distance is 179.12. So from here till here. Okay, so let me have one more view on this. Okay. So I think this radius value is okay, it's good, but let me just delete this. Okay, so no problem for me. I'm just going to create one more arc with this center point like up to yeah, this reference to this, okay. So this radius value, I'm going to edit it as 275.14, okay, okay, so this is the current value, okay, so, yeah, so we can able to project this right now, so we can directly project this, okay, so, yeah. I'm directly go for the center and its ends and uh, where is the center point yeah here and from here till here and with again the same center point from here till here okay so now we can complete this but dropping a line from here and here okay so now we need to do the same which we have done for the bottom i'm going to draw one more line like this 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 and this okay so now let's delete our segments i don't want this 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 and this okay so our sketch has been completed Okay, so now I'm going to create a one more arc from this. Okay. okay, let me just create one more arc. Okay, like this. From this midpoint to this midpoint. Okay, good. So now let's see like, yeah, so this is the R that we have created. Okay, so good. So let me just uh, project another R for this. Okay, like from here till here, okay. So it may have some overlapping lines here, so I'm going to delete that. Delete this, delete this, delete this. Okay, like I think oh, this sketch is over for me. Okay, good. It looks exactly good, okay. So now let's go for the revolve. For that I need to create a center line. Okay, revolve. Okay, it's good. 
we have completed our part let me have some view on this let's check whether it looks good okay you can see it looks like the same three edges in a circle and then and in a circle with which it's something but like here right good so let's click on okay so now we need to add some more feature for this so i'm going to open this as a separate part and then we need to create more features for this so let me just drag like this okay so now we need to create the blade feature for this okay so now let me go for the item to sketch and then go for the sketch view okay so here i'm going to create an ellipse for this okay good so now i'm i'm going to select this reference this reference and this okay so i'm going to draw a center line with this middle of this reference like this and let's create a center and ellipse like this like like this okay okay and for the dimensions let's see yeah you can see here length as 30 width as 3 and the angle of 10 okay good so now let's enter a value of 30 here and this length as 3 okay and then from this to this an angle of 10 okay so now we have created this ellipse so let's go for the extrude and for the extrude like before we have to do the same but here it has some shape in here so let's go for the tool selected okay so this surface we just have a good okay it, it's good it's good so for the side two um uh, we can't be able to select the inner surface so i'm just going to drag like this or else like enter a value like yeah even if we have entered any kind of value this will place like this so we need to create another extra for this and we have to remove material for this okay so so i need to create another sketch for removing this material okay so i'm going to select this plane go for the sketch and then go for the sketch view so here I need to take reference on this face okay so then this edge so let's go for the sketch view and uh, up to this okay so then what else do we need to add okay so then up to this surface so let's go for the sketch view here okay so let's click on solve okay let's go for the project and uh, we can able to project this okay and then let's draw a line to complete this sketch okay here it has some overlapping lines so i'm going to delete this here too or else like like you can draw a line at this edge from here till here till here and then you can go for the three point tangent and arc and like this okay sorry from here okay i think it is not working yeah so we need to complete this so yeah okay good good i forgot about this like we have taken reference so we are able to create an arc based on the center point okay 
so then click on ok and then revolve okay i think center line okay this is the center line remove material so now it is placed perfectly okay good okay so now we need to group this this okay so we need to group all these and pattern axis pattern here and the numbers as go for the diagram mm, axis numbers of 10 here so let's enter a value of 10 you click uh, evenly spaced and then okay so now we have completed this part it's good but we need to create another blade for this surface okay so let me just go for the datum 2 again sketch and then go for the sketch view so here i'm going to take reference on this and this okay then i need to draw a center line this middle the same ellipse like this this okay and then this dimension as 30 and this length as 3 like the same which we have done for the before okay okay i think like we are we are doing opposite to this direction yeah i think uh, okay like uh, yeah i need to delete all this okay first i'm going to take a reference for this previous ellipse so this okay okay so now we have to create this ellipse profile like this so now we can go for this like this and like this and then this distance value as 30 and this length as 3 and from here till here it should be a value angle of 10 okay extrude and for this like we don't want to add any kind of remove material features okay so to selector this surface side two to select this surface okay so now we can pattern it as um, axis pattern numbers of 10 okay 360 okay so now we have completed this profile for this and then we need to do again for this face okay so now let's go for the datum 2 again okay sorry datum 2 yeah datum 2 sketch and then go for the sketch view so let's take a reference for the previous this and this okay solve go for the sketch view here we need to do the same ellipse like but before that we need to create a center line on this middle okay and then like this this dimension this will be 30 and this will be 3 and from here till here it will be 10 okay so let's go for the extrude and we have to do the same which we have done for the before options side one to selected side two to selected to this okay pattern axis pattern this axis number as 10 and your 360 okay so I think like we have done for this part anything else like we need to add 
this part um okay done so we have completed our part you can just save this part and close it so let's make it active for one more time and let's see whether all these blades are placed correctly yeah, it's good so let's save this assembly and then active this part regenerate it and save for one more time okay so finally like we have created around 18 parts so then we have to create some more points for this like over like um like for the next 19th part like we have around 27 parts for this so we have to create for all those parts okay so let's go for the next part so next part is about the primary turbine case so let's open this drawing primary turbine case i think so this is the one yeah okay so let's close this so for this part i can like we can be able to create this part in assembly itself so i'm going on with this assembly okay so create a part and that's file name as primary turbine case create features offset planes okay 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 so let's go for the sketch let's go for the sketch view so here i don't want to view okay okay it's fine for me so now we are going to create this part as like a primary turbine case so first of all let's see what is primary turbine thing this is the primary turbine here yeah yep yep yeah so we are going to create a case for this as a bracket for this okay yeah good so now i'm going to take a reference on this mid surface solve close so now for this i'm going to create this surface first time for the first okay here so here it is total like height from the mid plane it is 240 and this total length as 130 okay and this height this height is not in here okay we can go for that okay so at first i'm going to create a rectangle feature for this so corner rectangle like this and then this total distance as 130 and then like from here till here it will be 20 okay so this height has 30 and then this total length that we have seen in diagram as 1 2 4 okay good so now i'm going to delete the top line okay so let's go for the offset i'm going to make it as loop and i'm going to loop for this as a value of 5 okay so now let's close this okay good so inside this like we are going to create this feature here okay so this distance is 10 30 and okay 10 and this is 20 and then 30 as a straight line for 25 and at a height of 2 at a distance of 20 and the bottom height as 2 and then this distance will be 15 okay okay it's a kind of easy thing so we can directly draw the profile 
without any dimensions and then we can add our own dimensions here okay so this height it will be 2 and this distance it will be 10 and this distance it will be 20 and uh, from here till here it will be around 30 okay okay good and then this height as 2 and this length as 20 and this okay it will be same because we have created the equal constraint for this so now let's delete all these unwanted lines <coughs> excuse me okay so we have completed this profile so we can just directly go for the revolve for that we need to create a center line and let's go for the revolve okay it's look it looks good really good so let's click on okay and the next thing that we are going to do is like yeah, we need to create this shape structure here okay so for this i'm going to sketch on this face sketch and then go for the sketch view here at first i'm going to hide all this accept the cys display on this access display okay good so now i'm going to create a constructive circle okay let's see the radius of the circle what they have provided like um yeah diameter value is 500 okay this so the radius value will be like 250 right okay 250 so then i'm going to take a reference on this and this solve close so now i'm going to create an arc feature for this and turn on its ends okay so we use this center point i'm going to draw an arc like this from here okay from here till here and then again the same center point from here till here okay good so let's see the dimensions here so okay okay so now this distance will be 40 and this distance will be 20 good okay so let's go for the dimensions like from here okay, i need to take reference here okay so now dimensions like from here till here I need a value of 20 and then here I need a value of 10 okay so 20 on both sides it will be 40 and here it will be 20 10, 10 plus 10 20 okay so now let's draw a line to complete this sketch okay so now I'm going to click on okay let's go for the extrude I'm going to extrude this as a remove material so i'm going for the flip direction and then i'm going to do this for the entire part so do selected to the surface okay good so now let's select this extrude okay so i'm going to pattern it as an axis pattern just axis display this center axis and the axis number as 20 good so 20 numbers equally spaced and then okay so we have created this profile but we need to create an old feature for this so this hold as a diameter of 8 okay so let's sketch on the space again sketch and then go for the sketch view 
so here at first i'm going to take reference on this on this on these all these sides and let me go for the constructive line draw a constructive like a diagonal line for these edges so then we can be able to find the center point and this diameter value of eight okay extrude it flip the direction okay remove material is fine and for the entire part up to this okay so now i'm going to pattern this as an axis pattern this central axis same 20 numbers equally spaced and then okay so now we have completed this part okay i think we have completed all this we have created this part okay so we have okay good so let me close this and let me open this and save this part save close and make it as an active again and enter assembly as active part then save this assembly okay good so we have almost complete our 19 parts okay so so like we will complete those parts in upcoming videos okay so thanks for watching guys so if you want more videos with mechanical engineering or any other content you can comment below okay so <clears throat> there are over around eight parts to complete this entire jet engine assembly okay so i think we will complete it in within like two videos okay so thank you guys we will see you next video until then bye